Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to lesson number six of the series of tutorial on how to build a WordPress plugin from scratch. Welcome again. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look on how to properly enqueue our custom scripts like JavaScript or CSS inside our WordPress installation via our custom plugin. So if you follow the tutorials WordPress 101 or the premium theme development series, you already know everything on how to properly enqueue files. So pretty much 50% of this video will be useless for you. But of course, we need to change something a little bit in order to do it inside our plugin. So first, let's keep using our class and let's create a new method, a new function called simple enqueue. And as I said in previous lesson, because we're using a class, a uniquely named class, we are pretty safe to use just random identifiers for our methods. We don't need to use that annoying prefix to avoid to have a repetition in our name. Inside this method, we can enqueue all our scripts. But before doing that, we need to create a folder in our plugin to keep all our scripts. So in my case, inside the alicad plugin, I'm going to create a new folder called simply assets. And inside here, I'm going to generate just an example and tile.css. And then I'm going to generate another file called my script.js, something like that, right? And inside here, I'm going to leave them completely blank for now. I don't care because I don't need to customize anything. I just want to check if the enqueue script works. So for now, we're going to just leave them blank. Inside the enqueue method, now we can simply write the default scripts of WordPress in order to enqueue a style on a, or a script. So we can say WP underscore enqueue underscore style and inside here we can specify the handle that it's going to be like my plugin style something like that like unique handle as a second parameter we need to specify the actual url and if you remember in if you follow the previous lessons or the other tutorials i always use the get template directory URI in order to get the current location. But we cannot do that anymore because we're not developing a theme. So we don't have a template directory URI that would return like false or not the actual location. We're inside a plugin. So we need to set ourselves inside a plugin. And in order to do that, we can uh, of course, use a built-in method of WordPress that it's really everything is there for us. We can just simply say plugins underscore URL and the plugins URL will return our or actually will locate a specific file inside um, this plugins folder if we specify the second parameter where to start. So first parameter that we need to pass is the folder that we specified and the file. So in my case is forward slash assets forward slash mystyle.css and as a second parameter we need to specify to this plugins url uh, method where to start like in which location the plugins url should start looking at this assets folder and as we were using previously in other lessons the double underscore file and double underscore is the kind of like global predefined location that php uses to represent this very own file so we're starting from this file that it's inside here. That's perfect. We are checking the assets, my style CSS. The array of dependencies, we can leave it blank. Uh, we don't want to give any version and blah, blah, blah. All the other options are optional. So the other attributes are optional. So we can avoid to specify them. That's pretty good. Let's save it. Now we need to dynamically call these in queue method. And we could potentially put the usual action like the admin in queue scripts action that we probably already know inside the construct. Or we could create a unique method only to trigger or register all our in queue scripts only at a specific time if the developer wants at a specific time. So let's do this. Let's create a function called register 
and inside the register function we're gonna actually use the add action and the add action is gonna call the action admin underscore in queue scripts and then here we are gonna pass the usual array by saying this class check inside this class the method in queue and that's it. So now we have this register method that only takes care of triggering the action and registering the actions to call the WP and Q style. In order to call the method, we need to use the instance, the new instance of our class that we define. And to call that method, as I showed you probably in the previous lesson, it's pretty simple. Let's just use the variable alleycat plugin that contains the instance of our class and by using the arrow like dash bigger than it's just a little arrow symbol let's say inside this new instance of the class trigger the register method that's it pretty straightforward right so we didn't put the action admin in queue scripts inside the construct because we didn't want to trigger the in queue on uh, class initialization. We want to handle this with the register method or in another section or with another method. It doesn't really matter, but it's just an example to show you that you can have both the uh, initialization action, something in the construct or in a specific class. And as usual, also you can move this add action in it inside the register if you want. Uh, you will find some developers that probably don't recommend to use uh, auto triggering actions inside the construct because generically in PHP the construct is just to declare some variables if you have like some protector or global variables that you want to assign to the class or you want to um, uh, call different methods or uh, inject another class another instance or stuff like that inside a construct like that's where you should do it and not actually triggering method of that very own class to trigger method you should specify another method to handle everything else and not doing everything in the construct it's okay like that makes sense it makes the code a little bit more clear, a little bit more readable and stuff like that, but it's not really a mistake, especially if you have really few options and stuff like that. We're gonna check in the future how to organize this stuff properly, but hey, let's take a look if this thing works. So let's save it. Let's go back in our WordPress installation. Let's refresh. We don't have any PHP error, that's perfect. If we check the inspect element and we go inside the network, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. We select the CSS tab and we refresh again. We're gonna see hey look at that my style.css that of course is completely empty because we don't have anything but here is in queuing actually our style inside our administration area because of course we created the uh, admin in queue scripts as i said in many many lessons if we want this uh, style to be in queued in the front end of our website and not the back end just simply replace the admin with the wp in queue scripts and let's save it, that's it. Let's refresh here. We don't have it anymore in the backend, but if we access the backend, and again, we open the inspector, we go inside a network, CSS, refresh, we have my style.css that is completely empty, but we have it here, that's amazing. So of course you could have here different methods like register admin, scripts and these deals only with the admin scripts and then you could have a duplicated meta call register uh, simply scripts and these handles the WP in queue scripts or stuff like that like you have full control of splitting the registration of custom scripts for the back end or the front end however you want for now uh, for the sake of this tutorial I'm gonna just deal with the back end so I'm gonna keep the regular just a standard register method and I'm gonna do everything with the admin in queue scripts here we can use the exact same method if we want to register the script like the javascript myscript.js so let's duplicate this entire row and instead of wp in queue style we can use wp in queue script singular let's remember that and here we can rename the handle my plugin script and here as usual plugins url the location of our style or our file script.js and then as a second parameter the starting point which file do we have to use as a starting point to look for this directory 
Let's save it. Let's go back in our backend because we don't care about the front end. And here we have my style.css. That's perfect. Let's go in our JS tab, my script dot js that as usual is completely empty so it's pretty much it for today's lesson i hope you enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and if you want you can spend a couple of minutes on the support me page of my website where you can find all different ways and methods to support me support my channel and help me to do better videos and better tutorials for you thank you again guys and until the next lesson as usual happy coding